We have auctions every Sunday at 10 a.m. I'd like to talk a little bit about auction houses in general, specifically how to choose the right one. What you got to look for is solid established ownership and customer base. You want somebody that's been in the business for a while. Second, ask lots of questions to make sure they're knowledgeable about the products you have and they're going to represent your items well. And last but not least, ask others about them. Nothing speaks more volume than a reputation. Chances are if they've treated others well, they'll treat you the same. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about samurai swords. The fine detail in this sword shows the quality of it. The age of this sword is only about 100 years old, but some of the earliest swords date back to 700 AD. This one has real ray skin in the handle, and the blades are so strong they'll actually cut steel. This is a quality reproduction sword. The blade is made of 1046 high carbon steel. The quality in it is shown by the large suba and the stingray in the handle. There's dual pins and it's hand wrapped. It takes a Japanese craftsman two weeks to produce this sword. The blade is incredibly strong and incredibly sharp. An auction is a great place to find a treasure and the more educated you are the better chances you have. Here is two fine porcelain statues. Porcelain is typically heavy when you pick it up and this piece is heavy. The detail is in the paint and in the delicate fingers. When you turn this piece over, you'll find the Yadro mark, which tells you that it's genuine. Beware of fakes on the market. When in doubt, always consult an expert. Today we have some beautiful jewelry in front of us. This is a 14 karat gold Rolex style bezel with, with seven brilliant cut diamonds. The carat weight of these is set as one and a quarter carat diamond. The appraisal value on this replacement value is $4,100. Typically as a buyer, seller, or investor, one would expect 25 to 50 percent of that appraisal at an auction. This ring will fetch a handsome price of over a thousand dollars, yet there is no guarantee at auction. Today we have silver and gold coins in front of us. These historical coins may have been in the saddlebags of Jesse James or passed through the hands of Al Capone. Here's examples of peace dollars and Morgans from historical America. Prices range on these from twenty-five dollars and up at auction. This Morgan is special. It was minted in the Carson City, Nevada, which is no longer around. Note the CC at the bottom of the, of the wings. Based on year and condition, this coin can sell for $100 to $1 million at auction. It's 200 there, and now three. 300 there at the door, now three and a half. Three and a half, I see you there, now three and a half. Three and a half there, now four. 400 there, now four and a half. Four and a half, looking for four and a half for this ancient Japanese piece of weaponry. Four and a half there, and now five. I got five there at the door, and now five and a half. 600 with enthusiasm there in the back. 600 there, now seven. 600, now seven. 700 there, now eight. I got seven, now seven and a half. Seven and a half, back to you, sir. Seven and a half, and now eight. 800 at the door, and now eight and a half. Eight and a half there, and now nine. $850 and now 900 Looking for $900 final call. Sold and we'll see you at the auction. Visit McManusAuctions.com or give us a call today. We'll be happy to help you with your estate, large or small.